Hello, welcome to Crafting Kitty. It's Saturday, so it's time for my weekly roundup. <laughs> um, so there's a number of things that I accomplished this week that I will not be sharing today, but I do have one completed project to show you. I have progress on two, three items, and then we're going to talk about a little other couple things. So first of all, let's hop in to the completed items. I finished the block stitch shawl from Hooked by Robin. So this is completely done. This will be one of the prizes for the Crafting Kitty Creator Spotlight for January this month. Um, so we are featuring Hooked by Robin, Robin Patterns. Be sure to either put your uh, pictures in my Facebook group, on Instagram, we're using the hashtag KK Creator Spotlight 123. Or if neither of those work, go ahead and email me them at crafting, um, ing at the end, not y, craftingkitty at gmail.com. And we'll get you entered into this, and maybe you could be the winner of this lovely block stitch stall. This was a very, very quick, fun make. Um, I had somebody in the comments ask if I thought it was suitable for a beginner. Absolutely. Absolutely. All you really have to know how to do is chain and triple and single. So you do chains, you do single crochets, you do triple crochets, and then the edging, which is optional, is a pico. And Robin does an excellent job explaining the pico. I've followed a couple of tutorials, and let me say her technique of doing the picos is my preferred way. So I think the picos turned out very nicely. And she said in her tutorial, she's going, to, she's using a four weight yarn. Um, in her like main pattern, she used one cake of Lion Brand Mandala which is what I did here. This is the colorway Griffin and worked like a charm. It was just, I had just a hair left. Like I won at yarn chicken. There was a moment where I was like, eee! but nope, it worked perfectly. So yes, I used a four millimeter hook and um, Lion Brand Mandala yarn to complete this. I enjoyed every second of it. Super fast. Highly recommend. It was a fun time. So that's my one completed object I can show you. I also completed um, my project for the collaboration with Grammy Colleen Crochets, and I've already sent that off to her. So even if I wanted to spoil the surprise, I could not. But this month, if you want to play along, um, our theme is new beginnings. It's January. It's a new year. New beginnings! Yay! So I have sent something to clean that I hope represents the idea of new beginnings. And so those are my two completed projects. In other projects, I so I'm not going to show my car project because it was too darn cold and I did not want to run outside and grab it. But I did have to rip it back another time, but I have figured out the issue that I was having. I think the end of the rows are treated differently than I'm used to. So I need to just pay attention at the ends. And I think it's been resolved. I've worked through, I'm now nearing the end of my second pattern repeat, and I'm not seeing the, the issue. So I think I'm on my way. You know, famous last words. <laughs> um... So I'm not doing that. I'm also not going to show my Maja Maya cardigan because the sleeve is just giving me a headache. And I think I might have to rip back all the way to the beginning and restart it. So we'll see. I will let you know next week what happens with that sleeve. But it is in the timeout corner in the living room. And... I do have three projects that are not in timeout. Also, I'm not going to show the heartthrob blanket. I'm going to save those for Thursday. So you'll only see the heartthrob, the things we're making collaboration on Thursday, because that's the whole 
It's called Things We're Making Thursdays. <laughs> um, but let me show you where I'm at on my Stephen West Twists and Turns MCAL. I am on round 10 and a half. So I need one more row round to finish the um, contrast color, the pink jasper. And then I'll do a round of the cleric and then round 10 will be done. And then I have the pattern repeat 11 and then you have a little bit more and then you kind of bind off for clue one. So it is tantalizingly close. It is tantalizingly close. So we'll see where I end up next week. But I mean, I still love the colors and I still love what I'm learning. We will persevere. <laughs> and the other um, knit project that I have to share is Chomps' dinosaur sweater. My goal for last week was to finish the graph portion um so yes i finished the graph look at that it's a it's a this is not transverse rex this is chomps's favorite dinosaur the triceratops i think that turned out quite nicely um i have not woven in my ends <laughs> this is the horror that is in tarja um but once i get that all tied in you'll see there are some little gappies where the colors joined that will cinch right up you won't see it so i am excited so i have to work on this main portion until it's 12 inches long and then i start the um the sleeve decreases and then i'll do the shoulder and then this will be done so fingers crossed i think all things, if everything moves in my favor, this will be done for you next week to show you the completed front panel of the dinosaur sweater. And that, again, is a paid pattern from iknitdesigns.com. I got it off of Ravelry. I'm trying to look for the front page to show you. There we go. And it is dinosaur sweaters triceratops there it is beautiful she has many other dinosaurs there was a brontosaurus one that i loved of course there's a t-rex um she also had like unicorns she had tons of other designs so if you are a knitter and interested in making a sweater go for it this pattern is very size inclusive. It goes up through, like I'm using for chomps, I'm in the, um, just the second size category. So the second smallest. She does four to five, five to seven, seven to nine, 11, or I'm sorry, 7 to 9, 9 to 11, 11 to 13. That's the age range she's suggesting. So it goes all the way up for for littles to biggers. Um, so the final kind of project I have to show is my progress on the Sophie's Universe. So I did finish the first section of Sophie. And this I'm just, I have not planned out a color palette at all. I'm using this as a scrap stash buster. So this is all just out of my scrap bin. And I am really liking it. I think it's really fun. This is, I found like a mini Hank. I must've gotten along the lines from Hershner's. Like, and sometimes when you check out at their retail store, they'll just give you freebies. And I believe I got these mini Hanks as just freebies. So this was a mini Hank. This was a mini Hank. This is the purple that was Bingo's pants. This was, it looked like a partial cake I had in a, like a Millen's bag of just a fun, pretty blue. And then this is the dove gray I had left over from my geometry lessons crochet along that I did last year with Mikey at the Crochet Crowd, which was a Joann's um, Caron Yarnspirations kind of 
tie-in. So there we are, part one of Sophie. Complete, nice. So then, um, I think, I'm gonna put that back in. I really had thought I sewed in the ends when I finished, but I guess I didn't. So I'm gonna sew in the ends and then get going on part two. Uh, we're supposed to be doing, so today is the technical start of Sophie. And um, so I know Carrie the Arnie Elephant is kind of the spearhead and oh, a number of other channels are hopping on. I could not even dream to name them. I know Jax um, has been talking about it. I know a number of people have told me they're joining. Sally Horner is doing it. Uh, I'm blanking, but I know that there are a number. There are a number of channels. So check out the hashtag Sophie2023. That's what Carrie asked everybody to use on their sharing of the Sophie's Universe for this go-around. Um, I am using four weight yarns, so I should end up with the, the big end at the end. So we'll see how it goes. Um, so I am using my Crojo Corner planner that Miss Ray from Ray's Yarn Addiction sent me as a present last year. Thank you! I am so excited. Uh, it is, I think, helping me get more organized. This yellow paper is where I'm trying to keep track of what furls hooks I have. But so let's check my planner and see. So for my monthly goals for this January, I have the Maja cardigan to complete and to complete the dino sweater. And then to complete the black stitch shawl, this one, and to complete my collaboration with Colleen, the Between Friends. So bottom two checked off already. And then in my other, I had to work on the Creator Spotlight, boom, to do the Between Friends, boom, to start Sophie's Universe, boom, to do the Movie Marquee um, challenge over on Heather the Crochet Witch, um, Heather the Crochet Witch, Bella's Oh, is it Handmade Gifts, Crochet Gifts? Oh, I'm going to have to get Bella's name memorized. And um, uh, Samantha from Amethyst Craftworks. So this actually, when Heather popped up the video, the picture for Young Guns 2, I was like, oh my God, I just cast that on. I totally already have it in progress. So I sent that over. And then I'd love to do one sewing tutorial, one, one tutorial, and to clear the sewing table. Neither of those have been worked on, so... Still have those hopefully in works for January. And then let's go for my weekly goals. I should tab this. I need to get my tabs. So for my weekly goals, this week I had to complete the block stitch shawl, to start the Between Friends, done, and to start Sophie's Universe, done. So I've gone ahead and set up this coming week's goals. So I want to do part two of the Sophie's Universe. I would like to complete part two of my heartthrob blanket. I've kind of gone through and marked where I think the various points are. So like to complete it over the four Thursdays, I need to be here, here, and here. So I want to get to that second marker. I want to finish clue one of the twists and turns MCAL. I want that baby shut down. So let's do it. In other goals, I would like to work on making a scrunchie from that ribbon yarn. I have another idea on how to make it a little easier. And I think part of me feels like it's a little too chunky in one area. So I have an idea to make that less chunky. And if this idea works, then I hope to make a tutorial on it because I had a couple of requests for a tutorial because a lot of people have that hanging out in their stash. And like me, we're like, what do I do with this? <laughs> and then I would like to make a hat. So those are my goals for this coming week. And that's my hook inventory. Um, and then I was hoping to start talking with you about the things I am reading. So I have, my goal has been to read at least a chapter a night, maybe around 15 minutes. So I have been pretty successful. Uh, I have to apologize. Last night we did not do a poor decisions with Brian and that's on me because on Thursday I got 
uh, COVID booster shot and it wiped me out. I was not in a good mood yesterday. <laughs> so I am glad I pre-recorded my Thursday video prior to my doctor's visit and my arm is feeling, it's still a little sore, but it's much better. Okay. So what I am reading is the Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss, which is, of course, book one in, this is called The King Killer. Wait, is this The King Killer Chronicles? Yes, King Killer Chronicles, day one. So this is supposed to end up as a three book trilogy. Um, I don't think this is giving away too much, but the, I think the way this book is told is very interesting. He's, um, uh, a chronicler has stumbled into a tavern and is collecting stories. So the main character says, I will tell you my story over the course of three days. This is what he tells in day one. And then there's another book that's supposed to be day two. And then I realize there is controversy <laughs> around this, but um, he is working on book three. So maybe we will learn the ending of the King Killer Chronicles at some point. There is already a third book that is associated with the series that I plan on reading, but it's not book three of the King Killer Chronicles. It's like a sub book. I don't know if it's a prequel or just an associated book, but I plan to read it uh, at some point. So this book I had started reading last year and has sat on my bedside table mocking me saying, read me, read me, read me. And so this is the whole point that book reading is on my list for this year. I'm trying to read at least a chapter a night, hopefully you know, like 15 minutes a night just before I go to bed. And that's what I'm doing. So I am, what do you think? The third? I have just, I'm starting chapter 37, which is page 238. And there are 662 pages, including the epilogue in this book. So yeah roughly a third in and I am highly enjoying this um if you are a person who maybe gets frustrated because series are not yet concluded don't don't start this <laughs> um if you like me started reading the um Game of Thrones books back in 2000 <laughs> And you're still waiting for the next book to come. And you know the the plight of the person waiting for a new book. Um, go for it. It is it is really good. I really like it. I think I actually have, have personally met Patrick Rothfuss. I think he is a wonderful person. He is very kind. He is very giving. And um, I think if... The people who are rude to him online about book three were to meet him, they would change their tune. <laughs> um, I'll just leave it at that. But I do understand the frustration of being invested in a story and wanting to see it to come to its conclusion because I got very invested in the Game of Thrones books, the Song of Fire and Ice. Yeah, yes. So this is the book. I'm two thirds of the way through. I hope to show greater progress on that. There's a lot of rants in here that might get cut out. And I've now totally forgotten where I was going to end this on. So I think I'm going to just go ahead and end it now and get to editing. Okay. <laughs> I 